Uh, have you ever had an awkward situation? Yes, exactly. This is what I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to talk about awkward situations in your life and how to actually deal with them. Uh, you know, for example, I faced a couple of awkward situations. One, uh, I recently, um, let's say, I uh, showed my exercises, my math exercises in front of the audience during the math seminar in, uh, in the university. And, uh, you know, for example, uh, the teacher asked me some uh, questions that, I, let's say, I didn't know the answer to. It kind of felt awkward not to know it, and I kind of uh, maybe in a way became red uh, when I was, let's say, in front of the audience and answering the, because, yeah, answering the, the questions to the lecture, how to do this, how to do that, in terms of that exercise. Uh, but the thing is, what is really key here, not to get awkward in too much or not to feel too much anxiety in yourself when you, let's just speak in front of the audience, is to get back to your body instead of your head. Because when you get back, when you go back to your head, when you go to your head and you start thinking about that situation, oh my god, that person asked me that question, I don't know the answer, oh my god, everybody's watching, everybody's looking at me, you probably they think that I'm stupid, you probably think, oh, he's so funny here, he doesn't know the answer, he looks funny because he just got red, right? So it, what's really good is just to get to your body, to think of your body, and to actually snap out of it. Well, how you actually do it is you change your focus. So instead of focusing on, okay, I don't know the situation, I don't know how to answer the question, you might answer yourself or you might ask yourself a different situation, a different question. Okay, how can uh, I make this actually funny? How can I actually embrace the fact that it's kind of awkward? So it's always very, very good to actually embrace the fact that it's awkward. Um, again, you're doing in front of the lecture, uh, right? You're in front of the audience, answering the lecture, or maybe doing a presentation, and something got awkward, right? Um, you know, uh, maybe you slipped. Uh, maybe you had a pen in your in your hand and it slipped on the floor or something. Sometimes those kind of things distract you a lot, and also sometimes it creates awkwardness in, in situations. What you want to do is you, make, you want to make fun of yourself doing that, and, and, and you, can, you might even say to your audience, you know. Um, I didn't sleep much today, so I'm so distracted. You see, I'm dropping things on the floor all the time. So if, if I drop this pen again, you just don't pay attention to me. I'll just pick it up and move on with my uh, presentation. So this is, one of the, this is one of the ways how I actually can uh, deal with, let's say, awkward situations. <coughs> now, another, uh, another kind of, um, let's say, way how to deal with the awkward situation is, let's, say, let's talk about the situation when two people interact. And let's say they don't really know each other, right? One person says something to another, right? And the other person doesn't react the way, let's say, that person wants to people to react, right? And it gets awkward. Or you say something that person doesn't answer. Or maybe you just felt in the beginning some kind of anxiety in yourself. You said something very incongruently, uh, with no, let's say, no intent, no confidence. And it became awkward because that person, because that person uh, simply, uh, didn't get to you or just the energy that you uh, gave to him when you said that word or uh, sentence was well kind of weird, right? So you want you don't want to stay in that situation. What you want to do is actually snap out of it and change the focus. Ask that other person that you're talking to a different question. Uh, for example, okay, what do you what did you eat today? Uh, what are you gonna do today? Uh, what uh, what is your plan for the weekend? Uh, yeah. It's always like, uh, even right, I'm right now, I'm feeling kind of anxiety, and in a way, the situation where I'm right now is kind of awkward because uh, there's people passing me by and they're looking what I'm doing, and I feel being judged. Every time you feel being judged, you feel anxiety and you feel that sense of awkwardness in you. But it's okay. It's okay to feel anxiety. It's okay uh, for people to judge you. Not everyone is gonna like you. Uh, not everyone is supposed to be your friend, not everyone is supposed to be your, uh, let's say, peer. It doesn't really matter, right? What matters to you is what are you doing, what do you focus on, and what is important to you right now, instead of focusing on what other might people think about you, whether you might judge you or not. So, change your focus, change your thoughts, don't focus on things you don't want. When you
present yourself when you interact with new people that you don't know, when you present a, when you do a presentation in front of the audience, when you need to, let's say, account for something in front of the audience and something gets awkward. Change your thought, change your question, and also get to your body. Don't let yourself get into your head thinking too much about that situation. Don't get stuck in that mindset in your head that, oh my god, this is awkward, I don't know, people judge me, oh my god, oh my god. It's very simple how you do it. It's just change your focus. Focus more like on your body and also a very, very important thing, embrace that awkwardness. Instead of, you know, thinking too much about it, just say, it's okay, you know, it's awkward. Make it funny, it's actually, make it fun. It's funny, it's like, oh my god, this is so awkward, it's, it's actually funny, you know. So, you just uh, change the focus on what you're focusing on. You change the thought and you start focusing on, on the fun fact that it's awkward. It's, it's just like, it's awkward, it's fine, you know. It's like, it, it's the same with anxiety and awkwardness. And, well, awkwardness and anxiety is, um, is very, let's say, very related things to joke, right? are just practicing public speaking. This is what I'm actually trying to do right now. Also, I love public speaking. And I want to learn how to speak in front of the camera. And I want to learn how to speak in front of the audience and in public because then you feel the most uh, judged by people, right? Because you're thinking, oh, I'm probably I'm not going to say the right word. Uh, people are, might not like my gestures. People might not like my facial expression, but it doesn't really matter. The more you actually do it, the more get out of that awkwardness and the more normal it becomes. But I mean, until that one, you actually want to practice it and you want to embrace every single distraction, every single thing that doesn't go well and just make fun of it. Make fun of it and just enjoy it. Embrace the fact that it's awkward. Uh, yeah, when you have an anxiety, you speak in front of people and uh, you forget something. You might want to just embrace it, you know, I forgot this thing, but let me give me a moment, I'll remember it, or make a joke, say something about the situation that you forget that what you wanted to say. Um, what else you want to do is um, when you feel anxiety, when you're talking about it, when you feel anxiety, you feel that, let's say, bursting, uh, like tingling sensation in your stomach. Instead of fighting it, embrace it, feel it, and you just say that, like, oh, it's, it's okay to feel like that, it's, it's totally fine, uh, I'll be fine. Uh, what's the worst, well, ask yourself the question, what's the worst thing that can happen? Uh, speaking in front of the audience, well, the worst thing probably you die, but there's no chance to die in the speaking in front of people. So, yeah, there's nothing to be really afraid of. So, I know that. It's, uh, it's weird what I'm talking right now. I feel kind of awkward right now because I I, 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 gave, I gave so many thoughts out or I expressed so many thoughts out out of my head. But they were not like, let's say, perfect. They were not in the line of what I really, really want to say. But I say to myself, it's okay because as long as I'm doing something to improve and to improve my speaking abilities, to improve my ability to express my thoughts in the in the great alignment um, and you know the, the logic center the, the, the logic sequence of words I'm happy you know as long as I'm practicing as long as I'm doing things as long as I'm enjoying the process so thanks for watching and peace